Hello friends, this is Raj Kapoor coming back to you again. But now here, I'm with the complete team. I'm back with Donna and Bill, who you have met in the last two lives. And I really hope that you were able to join the live that we had the last two. They were really, really great. But you know what? Many times the way the time is, people have to go back and take a look at the recording. And I hope you did. I hope you did take a look at the recording because many people did. And I have gotten so many direct messages that I'm so glad that we did this. So I said, why not bring the whole team and let them exactly tell you what is in store for you. Today is going to be just amazing. And I know that because I've been through this, but bringing to you, incredible. So stay tuned for golden nuggets today. So today I'm going to be introducing Stephen and Jeremy, who are the two great guys, but I'm not going to tell you what they do. I'm going to let them introduce themselves. But before I do that, let me just tell you friends that the response has been overwhelming. As I had said, only 15 people, that's it. Only 15 people will be able to make this. And I'm saying it right at the upfront. This is the best pricing that we are going to be giving you at 50% off. Can you believe that? And that is going to be only there for one time. The next session that we have, we are going to be at full price. And that is also a really discounted price, but just to tell you, so I'm just bringing it to you upfront, right in the front as to what you can get. But before that, even listen, what we have, because you're going to get so many golden nuggets today. And then definitely, as I said, message me, message Donna, and maybe we can really, really help you in getting to where you are, because this is what has helped us all. So let's let's start with Stephen. Stephen, tell us a little bit about yourself. Yeah, um, I do a lot of design work, branding and marketing. And I come back, I come from an agency world and a freelancing world. and um, a lot of the clients that I serviced were in the in the soft, uh, software and education space. So I know about how to, you know, take all the ideas in somebody's head and organize it. And then not just organize it, but create a brand around it. So from the visuals to the way it communicates. Uh, so yeah, like that's, that's pretty much what I do. I'm a nerd about it. I love doing <laughs> it and I can do it all day. And I can tell you, Stephen, there is so much need out there to set up your own branding. And I am telling you, I have been working with a lot of uh, coaches, consultants, and course creators, and there is such a huge need for branding them that they don't even know or understand. So yeah. um, my God, that, that is really important. Uh, Jeremy. And, and can I say, before yes, we go on to Jeremy, working with Stephen, because uh, he's our guy <laughs> for IBGR, mm -hmm. and he's not just a, a branding and marketing specialist. He's also, he coaches, he coaches you through it and draws out what you didn't even know was there. It's just amazing. I love having conversations with Steven because I'm always becoming more clear and more aware of, of our IBGR branding. Yeah. I, another thing is I, um, most people in the branding world, they'll just go away and make something for you and then say, this is what you want it. I don't do that. I like to do it with the person, making sure that like, I'm taking their inputs and we're creating it live. We're co-creating it together. Wonderful. Wonderful. Thank you, Stephen. Uh, Jeremy. Thank you. Thank you, Raj. Okay. So, so my background, I have over 30 years experience at the C-suite level working for an American multinational. Uh, I worked in the United Kingdom in Europe. Uh, I worked for them in the, the United States. In the United States, it was more on general management. Uh, than, than finance. I'm, I'm a qualified accountant. I've been a CFO for many years. And in uh, 2006, I, I moved to Asia. Um, I realized my career was coming to an end because you know, there's a time when you need to move on. Um, and so about eight years ago now, in, in planning for my retirement in inverted commas, uh, I, I started working as, a, as an independent consultant. But whilst I was full-time employed and with the full knowledge uh, of my company. And so for the last eight years, I've been helping people uh, launch their businesses, do mergers and acquisitions, strategic planning, and that kind of thing. So I'm going to be doing the finance portion of, of, of the course, 
Um, but I do realize many people turn off when they hear the word finance. It's, it's not the sort of thing that most people want to do. And I think I can make it almost enjoyable. Even if you don't like finance, I think I can deliver it in a way that you're going to enjoy and, and you're going to get the results you need. So that's me. Thanks. Absolutely, Mark. Jeremy. You make numbers fun. <laughs> <laughs> and, and Jeremy, that is, that is so true because uh, I'm also a numbers guy. I have been a CFO also for 30 plus years. And I know how people feel about numbers. But you know what? Yeah. Once you're going through the process of business, even, and I'll tell this to other coaches and consultants very clearly and many uh, people who are scared of numbers. See, in the end, it's your money. Mm -hmm. Nobody knows or should know money better than you. And, and that is where most people falter because they're really great coaches. They just do such great job connecting with people, changing their lives. But when it comes to their own money, they leave it to someone else. Yeah. You know what? <laughs> That's not how it should be. That's why you are an entrepreneur. That is why you are in the business. So that is what is going to come to you so clearly here with Jeremy. And Jeremy can make numbers, <laughs> make <laughs> numbers fun. And there are ways to do that. So... So wonderful. Thank you. Thank you so much, Jeremy. So Donna, let's start today. Uh, uh, and uh, maybe we can start with Stephen, but Donna, uh, I want, I'll give it over to you. So yeah. please. Thanks. Thanks, Raj. Uh, if you've been watching our series here, a little mini series, uh, Bill, Raj, and I came on the first video to tell you why it's so important to get a good business foundation before trying to sell. And what many coaches and consultants and course creators are missing in this space is they're not clear on what to sell. And when you know, when you know why all of these three pieces work together, uh, then it's, it's so, uh, so much easier to make it, to make it so. But, you know, so the first video was, was what? It was, it, you need to know marketing, you need to know operations, you need to know how to put an offer together, and then you need to know how to price it and, and how to manage those numbers. Like you said, Raj, when am I going to start paying myself <laughs> instead mm -hmm. of having an expensive hobby? And uh, this, this video now, what the team wants to do, if you haven't noticed yet, there's a passion to serve. Uh, with with all of our team, there's the, that's kind of a prerequisite to work with us is you have to be passionate about what you do, you have to be good at what you do, and you have to want to serve others. And so what the team said is we, we want to come on and give a little teaching. And so what they're going to do, there's, we, we talked about the fast track to profitability being a six month program and you get to work with Steven for three weeks on marketing and branding and you get to work with Bill for three weeks on how to set up the back office and systems and processing and then select an offer that will actually make you money. And then you, you go over to Jeremy and he does make those numbers fun so that you know how, how to forecast and how to, how to price and how to pay yourself. Um, but that's all abstract. No, that's just, you, you nod your head and you say, yeah, we know that this is important. Uh, what I'm going to do now is let the team give you, like you said, Raj, golden nuggets, a little bit a one little slice from one part of their program and let them, we're just going to let them blow you away. So go ahead, Stephen, the, the floor is yours. Yeah, definitely. And um, let me know if the screen is working when I share it. And you guys can see my screen, right? It looks perfect. Awesome. So one of the things that I wanted to talk about today was um, building the offer or even just coming up with the idea of what your offer is. And the way I organize it is typically happens in three phases where you're going to have all the ideas in your head. You're not going to sure what's the order from A to B. And even if the other thing is you're not even sure what you want to talk about. So let me just zoom in a little bit. And we just call this a digital brain dump where we don't care about um, getting it right or making sure it sounds great. We just want to take everything that's in your head and just organize it. Doesn't need to be in a logical order either. That's what you know the post-it notes are for to kind of create sense out of the chaos. And then what happens after that is you know take a step back. You start seeing there's a pattern. You start seeing that there's things that can happen together. There are things that can just be deleted. Things that you combine. And from there, you're going to start creating a process. So the way we like to work is um, there's three stages. So an A, B, and C, and then each stage has a step. So one, two, three. 
Uh, altogether, there's going to be nine steps for your product roadmap or your IP. And that's what kind of we, so as we kind of uh, get the, all that, all the juices flowing, we start organizing that into something like this, right? Um, we don't worry about the branding. We don't worry about the design. We just want to make sure that your idea makes sense to you and to the people you're communicating to. Um, so that's where a lot of like the copy and a lot of the wording will start being a primary focus. Um, so as you can see here, you know, these, these are just placeholders, but eventually through our process, like there's just things I can't show you on this call. Cause that's just, that's just a lot. Uh, but there's other things that come that play before that, that we're going to integrate into this product roadmap. And then after we get all the copy and all the wording down, um, that's where a lot of the branding, the naming of your offer uh, come into play. So this is for the fast track, um, our own uh, program. And so that's kind of the same process we followed. Um, and it's, if you notice, this is version three. So we've gone through many iterations of this and we were always trying to improve it. Uh, me and Donnie yesterday, we had a long conversation on iteration four, five, and six of how it's going to look. Um, so as we are creating this, you know, we are always keeping our finger on the pulse, making sure that what we're doing is going to help you guys, right? Um, so yeah, that's how it looks like visually. Um, and, you know, behind closed doors, it's, it's, always, it's always chaotic, right? The finished product always looks nice and clean, but as a creative, I know that, um, creativity is chaotic and that's okay. Like that's how it's supposed to be. Otherwise you're not going to be able to go to your full potential in terms of how you feel about your offers. And yeah, Steven, I love that. If you can keep that fast track up for a minute, like yeah. Bill said on video number two, all early stage businesses are experiments. Mm -hmm. And so what you do is you start the experiment with them getting into their head a little bit and drawing out what they don't even know is there. And so just imagine having a conversation with a potential client and laying something out like this document, this fast track to profitability and let them see the exact steps to their transformation. Yeah. And maybe they want the whole package like we're offering for fast track to profitability, or maybe they just want step two. And so now you can draw out step two and create a course or a product or a program just with that one little step. So you essentially will have 10 offers when you're finished with this because you'll have the entire roadmap you can offer. And if they say, well, that's too much, you can let them choose. Well, which one of these looks best to you? And they can, they can draw it out that way. I think it's just brilliant the way you put that together, Stephen. Yeah. And just imagine you're showing this to a potential client, right? Everyone else has their idea of what their service is like, but you actually have a tangible document that you can show somebody, hey, this is where you're at. This is where I'm seeing the gaps in your business. And then this is where we can take it. Um, that's a, that alone is a differentiator. Everyone else has the same coaching, the same programs, the same skill sets. What is it that makes you different, right? Yeah, exactly. Exactly. It, the, the feedback we get when we present our roadmaps uh, and I'll show you another one later on, but the feedback that we get and the clarity that you get going through this process, you can, you can, <laughs> a potential client can smell fear, confusion, and lack of clarity like a dog. Okay. I'm not saying that they're dogs, <laughs> but they can smell it in you. But when you have something like this, you've gone through and, and you've thought it through and it all just makes sense. It, it, it makes the sales process that much easier. Yeah. And another thing is it's like, you can just riff because you, because you know your process so well, you can just start from, you can start from step five and talk about how it relates to the overall product. Exactly. So exactly. A lot of potential. So if you're considering our program, Fast Track to Profitability, this is actually part of the deliverables that you'll get at the end of the course. You'll get your own rad roadmap branded so that you can have this plus others, uh, other marketing material. We're, we're not just staying in the cloud in your thoughts, we're going to hand to you things that you can use, marketing collateral that you can use once you've gone through the process. So it's that powerful. Yeah. yeah. I'm a visual person. I want to make sure that the people we work with, they have something visual to show their visual, like clients that, that need that too, right? The words aren't always enough. Sometimes you need to show them yeah. what's possible. Yeah. And well, Roz, then you'll, you'll take this yeah. and, and use it with Facebook, right? Yep. Facebook ads and lead magnets and stuff. 
this can live in a lot of places. No. Um, you, yeah. you can expand this into entire website if need be down the road, or you can condense it into, you know, um, 10 talking points. Yeah. Kind of presentation. And Thanks, what I want to say here, very uh, one thing which I want to interject was, is this, this comes at such a great juncture, as I'm also working with other clients, I'm looking at that, that the clarity is missing. Uh, because many times when people get certified, they have so many ideas, so many things that they want to jump in that they are all over the place. And this exactly brings them back with all and every one of the ideas right there coming to one theme. So Stephen, you put it really aptly, really well. And then how to fast track to profitability. Don't you want that? <laughs> Isn't that, <laughs> that, that the main thing? So just love this. <laughs> Absolutely. Thank you. Thank you. Yep. Awesome. So that is just one little slice, one little sliver of what you get working with Stephen. And hopefully you took some notes on that because it will really get your ball rolling in your own world on your clarity. You can, you know, is it coaching, speaking? Is it lunch and learns, training, assessments, leadership, mastermind? What, what are all these things that you do? Start brain dumping that onto the sticky notes. If you, you put them up on your wall, if you want to, and, and just start organizing them and see what kind of patterns show up. So that's, that's your marketing and uh, <laughs> training for this video. What we want to do now is go over to Bill, who's been waiting so patiently to yeah. talk about operations. What, what are we, what are we going to talk about in, as far as building an offer, Bill, what is, what do you got planned? Well, it's, it's a three-step process, um, much the, the same approach that we use with uh, marketing and finance, and that is that we're going to start with design it. There are plenty of options that you have uh, in terms of what you're going to first offer, and what we're going to try to pull it down to is the thing that you can put out there, product or service, to, in my mind, the way we approach it, products and services are interchangeable because at the end of the day, when the customer consumes whatever it is that they purchase from you, there, there are three levels to it. One is there's results that they expect because that's what you promised. Number two, the, whatever it is that you sold them, how user-friendly is it? And number three is kind of the overall experience of doing business with you. So we're going to drill down on those three areas. So we're going to talk about design it. Then we're going to talk about how to automate the process. And then finally, uh, as your role here, because we're going to try to help you also not only work in the business, but also start working on the business. Because one of the challenges you have as the business owner is that well, most of us are just glorified technicians. And the, the long-term work that's required to grow the company uh, doesn't happen because you don't, you don't have the time. And it's really up to you to make the time because you, you can say, I don't have any time on my calendar. But quite frankly, if you're the owner of the company, that was your choice. It may be right, but you chose that. So now if we just take the, we take the design it, which is where I'm going to put most of my emphasis right now on the design it piece, uh, we're going to use a process called uh, quality function deployment. Now, I'm going to use a technical term only because I want you to have the ability to look it up. QFD, you, you do QFD, you're going to get 10,000 hits. What the beauty of it is, it is a process to narrow down exactly what the customer wants. So when we design the first offer, which is what we're going to be doing together, we're going to get it down to where you're going to, your offer is going to hit them right where they need to be. And it's going to be better than the competition because you're going to know what the competition is offering. So let me give you some ideas there. Number one is obviously you're going to make a list. And by the way, in your head, see a spreadsheet. This is nothing more than a spreadsheet. And uh, I'll show you how to do the spreadsheet. Not and today. Bill makes spreadsheets fun. <laughs> well, I like spreadsheets because once they're put together, you can always do scenario planning. And even though I'm not a finance guy, it's really helpful to go, well, if we only sell five of those, what would happen to the numbers? And you go, da, 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 da. Anyway, first of all, we start with uh, customer needs and you make a list of what the customer says they want or what you believe the customer wants. Now I'm going to, I'm going to hesitate there to say, I don't think writing down what you believe the customer needs is the way to go because what happens if you're not accurate, you don't have an accurate perception. So we get a list of what the customer is looking for. And then what happens is those are evaluated in terms of 
how critical are they? Because in your first offer, you're going to be doing a minimally viable product or service. And what that means is you're going to build just the essentials in the first offer. You can add all the whistles and bells later. But right now, let's tackle this and let's let's make it as simple as possible for you and get the right stuff there that the customer is going to purchase. So what you're going to do is you're going to look at those customer characteristics and then you're going to evaluate those. All right. Then from that, you're going to turn that into what specifically are the features, the features that you have to build into the product or service. And again, I'm using the two interchangeably. What are the features in there? So, for example, if they are buying a, a coaching um, initiative from you and one of the features is longevity, then in your offer, you have to say, well, we have a three month or a six month proposal. That is something that it has to have. OK, and then what you do is you do a, a, a technical analysis of those to say, OK, now let's look at what the competitors are doing. And where do they fall out on these? And then you're going to weight those. And at the end, what comes out of this process is a pretty good idea of what I have to offer. I will know the cost of it because we'll go through a process of building it. And I know where I stand against the competition. Now, all that leaves me is to determine where, where should we establish our initial price. And so that's, that's just a small part of what I'll take you through, but that's the major piece. Let's consolidate on the first offer. Let's build a minimally viable offer. Let's go take the competition on, and it's going to be a collection of the features that your service offers and your price point, which now takes me to Mr. Gray. Yeah, that, that's fantastic because lack of clarity is one of the, the main pain points that I hear from coaches and consultants because we get certified in so many areas. We have so many things that we could do and they say the confused mind does nothing. <laughs> and so <laughs> what, is it any wonder why we have a hard time really getting started and digging our feet in to grow our business? Uh, so the, that lack of clarity bill that you give with the QFD, quality function deployment and, and the, the, the fun little spreadsheet <laughs> goes along with it. You know, when I first saw your spreadsheet, even what you've done uh, with, with our business and with the incubator. And, and so we can say, we need to sell this many seats at this much money in order to continue to make a profit and have, have the, a, a margin to grow a business instead of at the end of the year, like I said, with my struggle, where I, I think, yeah, the cash register keeps ringing. I've made all this money and I really didn't. I owed, <laughs> lost a lot. Yeah, so, so that's fantastic. Any, any comments, Raj? I think that was just wonderful. And you see how things come together. That is what we are trying to bring to you. You just heard Stephen. Bill brought, and, and again, if you haven't, friends really would, uh, would encourage you to watch the first two lives that we had, which are right now the videos uh, that you can click on and watch with the Facebook group. Or otherwise, Donna, what we will do is because we, are, we have taken out the first uh, video, uh, so you can uh, maybe give a link. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, again, where people can just go and watch yeah. the videos in a sequence. Mm -hmm. uh, and then maybe this live also, we are going to put it there later. That's what mm -hmm. we will do. Uh, yeah, what, they, we, what we've done is we've created a, a landing page where we're putting the video so you don't have to scroll through all of Facebook to find them. Correct. We're just going to put one link and make it really easy for you to see the entire series and get extract all of the, the knowledge, the wisdom and the nuggets that are in there. Yeah, because we also spoke about what Donna would be doing, what I would be doing about mindset and mm -hmm. all those. So it's all going to come together because why? Because you need all these things to have a successful business. And that yeah. is what we are bringing to you. And, and, the, and the, the last piece with the consultants, of, of course, we have the, the wealth mindset, which is <laughs> a, a, a super important part of this process. But the, the last part with, in the consulting space is with Jeremy, who's coming to us all the way from Vietnam, no less. And it's, it's, 
it's morning here, so it's nighttime for you, right? <laughs> yeah, it's and, coming up to 9 p.m. here in Virginia. Oh, Jeremy, we just love you and your dedication <laughs> to, to helping other businesses grow. So you, you're going to talk to us a, a little bit uh, using your first step, which is the first week in the program. I'm going to share the screen, and you're going to talk. Oh, that's not the one I wanted to share. Let me stop that real quick. This is live, folks. <laughs> Here we go. That one. You're gonna you're gonna talk to us a little bit about price it and, and which area you're gonna dive into, Jeremy. I'm I'm actually going to talk a little bit about competitive analysis, um, Donna. But let, let me let me start by making a, a, a statement which probably many people know is true: that the number one cause of business failures is they run out of money. And that, that's for any business, whether it's a consultant, whether it's a multinational, whether you're launching a technical, the leading cause of failure is you run out of money. And my job is to make sure that doesn't happen to you. <laughs> that, that's, that's my raison d'etre. And incidentally, the second reason of, for businesses fail is there's no demand for the product. And if you followed what Stephen and William Bill have told you, then you should have a product that has a demand. <laughs> right. So you, you've already hopefully negated the second cause of failure. And we're going to make sure you don't fail because you, you, you run out of money. Um, so I'm, I'm going to talk a little bit about competitive analysis. You, you've done your homework. You've decided what your price should be to give you the lifestyle you want. Or maybe it's just the, the amount of money you need to survive. Right. Maybe that's all you want to do. Pay the bills <laughs> when, when, when you launch. But you've decided how much you want to charge. And then you really need to be sure. Is that feasible? Is that possible in the marketplace? And it's time to start doing a little bit of competitive analysis because in any strategy that anybody ever adopts, the, comp the competitor gets the vote, right? Because how they react impacts your strategy. So remember, whatever you do, the competitor gets a vote. So you want to do some competitive analysis. Unfortunately, today, it's so much easier than it used to be with wonderful tool, Google, which I'm sure we all use almost on a daily basis. But you want to do some direct research, such as, you know, what does a lifestyle coach in Wigan in the United Kingdom make, right? You can go and Google that. And if you do, what you're going to find is the rate is around 20 to 40 pounds an hour. Um, to put that into uh, American dollars, it's about uh, 35 to 54 US dollars uh, per hour. And that will give you some sort of starting point. But do remember that whatever it is, there are, some, there are four myths about pricing, right? And, and one is that the low price always wins. That, that's not true. There will always be someone who will do it cheaper than you will, right? So you're just using that as a sort of benchmark, right? Well, what's out there? And, and don't worry if your pricing that you need to achieve is, is, is significantly higher. I'll talk a little bit about that later on, but you've got to think about the value you're going to bring because that's at the end of the day. That's what you want to charge. You want to charge for the value you bring to, to your clients. So you've done a base, you've done your basic Google research, you've got some idea of what the market price is. So you've got a, you've got a benchmark sample. Then you want to start doing some indirect research. You know, um, maybe you want to you, you're solving a problem. So you want to Google how do you solve a my the problem that you're going to say how do you solve problem x and you'll get a lot of information there and you'll probably get a lot of adverts for people who claim they can solve that problem and that starts get help you identify your competitors you can also google show me a lifestyle coach in cincinnati ohio right and you get a whole list of your competitors there um so you're starting to build up your your, your, your competitive profile who, who are you going to be competing with Look at their websites, look what they have, look what they offer. Most of them will not actually have their prices on their websites. I, I find very few people actually put their price on the website. So you've got the option, pick up the phone, talk to them, right? You, you, and, and you don't, my findings is you don't actually have to lie and say, hey, I'm looking for a lifestyle coach. You can actually say to them, hey, I'm thinking of launching a business and lifestyle coach. How did you get to your pricing strategy? You'll be amazed how many people will actually talk to you, even though you're a potential competitor, because they don't yet really see you as a competitor, right? You're just someone who's interested in, in the work they do. So pick up the phone, talk to them, right? And, and get things done. Um, I talked about the, the, the myths, right? There are some myths about pricing you can buy. I mentioned the first one, the lowest price always wins. Not true. 
A high price is off-putting, is, is another way of putting it. And, and certainly, if you put an hourly rate in it, you can get some sticker shock. But if you put it in the context of, I charge this and you get that, then that sticker shock is immediately reduced. I mean, I, 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 I know I lose clients because of my pricing. And sometimes it's disappointing because I know I can deliver value to them. But I know the value. Once I get a client, I very rarely lose a client because I know the value I bring. And that's what you're going to be talking about, the, the value that you bring. Um, there's another myth. You can't charge a high price if you're, if you're a, a novice coach. Well, think about all the experience you're bringing. You may be a novice coach, but you may be bringing 30 or 40 years of experience to your coaching. Right. I mean, that's, that's what I do. Right? I have 30 years as a C-suite. Right? So don't worry about the fact that you're a novice. Think again, think about the value uh, that you bring. And, and another thing you, you, you sometimes hear is pricing is not important. S start any old price and, and see how it goes from there. Well, yeah, but that does not pay your bills. Right. You need to have a price that's going to pay your bills. So pricing is important. It's the most important part. Of, of launching a business. And, and, and I've talked a little bit about value pricing, which really is where I would like you all to get to uh, when you do this, but it's basically, what market do you serve? Who, who, who are your potential customers? Who do you serve? What problems are you solving for them? And by solving those problems, what value are you bringing to them? So you understand what you're bringing. And then finally, why should they choose you? Um, why, why should they choose you? And it, it's actually one of the, the hardest questions for you to answer yourself because you really have to be, you have to sell yourself to yourself. And that's always a challenge. But, you know, why should they choose you? So who are you going to serve? What are you going to bring to them? What's the value of what you bring to them? And why should they choose you? That's really what I'm going to, that's, a, that's just a segment of what we're going to cover in the, uh, the price it, plan it and predict it. Uh, part of the course. Wow, Jeremy, that <laughs> there's so much to think about with that. I love the myths because they're, it's so true. How many of us, especially when we're just starting out, really don't know and and fall into those myths, fall into those traps. And and you know, for those that start out coaching for free or training for free or consulting for free, yeah, that's okay to get some experience, but it's not actually free or it shouldn't be, you should at least be getting a testimonial to it uh, and know that your time is worth money. And so free is never free. And uh, you've, you've heard that before, free is never free. There's always some kind of, kind of an exchange. Raj, what, what did you want to add to that? Well, I would say, first of all, Jeremy, you just added some amazing golden nuggets today. Amazing. So friends, whether you be a part of what we are offering or not, whether you're selected or not. That's another question. As I said, it's only 15 people that we are going for. That's it. What Jeremy just told you is going to help you. It's going to help you in working wherever, at whatever level of business you're at. You are a startup, you are at the growth level, or you are scaling. It doesn't matter. All the things that Jeremy said would help you to work on the pricing on your business. One thing, Jeremy, you said so aptly that many new coaches who believe that they are novices do not have much to share or much to give. Now, I have been doing virtual dinner parties and I'm getting that a lot from coaches. I would love to come, but I'm not sure if I have enough to share. Mm. And my answer to them is, are you just brand new or have you had some career experience? Oh, I have had 20, 30 years of experience. I said, you're bringing all of that into your coaching, into your consulting. And so once you come in, you will see what you would be able to contribute. And I'm telling you, those are the people who contribute the most because these are new, fresh ideas that come in from them. So don't ever think you are at a level where you don't have to contribute. So that was a great, great point, Jeremy. But you brought out some really great nuggets. Thank you for that. And I and I know that uh, the group, the Millionaire Path, all I think everybody who watches this is going to get help from this. Yeah, so, I think so too, Raj. Yeah, yeah. No, that that that's really, really uh, hit really close to uh, <laughs> where most of the people are. So. No. So Donna, why don't we do one thing? Why don't we talk about you and your story a little bit? 
because oh, that you. is so powerful. And then what I'll do is we'll end with a little bit about my story and my mindset. So people know what we are completely bringing this as a whole package. Yeah, thanks, Raj. Uh, I, I appreciate that because my story uh, was one of struggle for a long time. Uh, I have invested over $40,000 in the past six years in order to get where I am right now. Uh, it was a lot of trial and error. I thought, well, I got my first certification. I just don't know enough. Let me get another certification. Let me get another certification. So I end up with a John Maxwell certification. I end up with a coach approach ministry certification. I end up doing a diploma program at a university in Arizona. I get hypnotherapy certification, two disc certifications. I had all of these certifications. And at, at one point I hired a marketing professional to help me because I wanted to launch a course. And over that 90 days, the $4,000 that I paid, what I ended up with was a, a new logo that I'd already paid money for the old logo. I ended up with a new logo and a new website and I still was no closer to marketing my course. I, I cried, <laughs> it, was, it was so sad because the promise that was made although it was he, he was very good at what he did i i didn't get what i needed and it was to launch a course uh and and so fast forward where where i am right now the six years what um, my signature offer is actually this business podcasting made easy how did i get here well i i get to do coaching i get to do training and you know, when I was working with that one marketer, he said, who's your ideal client? I said, I want to work with world changers to help them make a bigger impact. And he said, you can't do that. That's too broad. Nobody will resonate with that. I think because you have a background in, uh, in the military, you should come out as an authentic leader. So with John Maxwell and your military background, we'll brand you as the authentic leader. Okay. And I tried that for a couple of years, but it just wasn't a good fit. I see you laughing, Stephen. <laughs> You're smiling because you, you know, right? Somebody told me what I should be and killed my dream for years. Let that sink in. What I do now at IBGR is I work with world changers to help them make a greater impact. Isn't that interesting? How do I do it? I combine coaching and training and I help I help these consultants who have a story to tell, who have a message, who want to give back to the business community, start a podcast. Because I tried to start a podcast and it was so overwhelming that I, I, I did one of those free landing pages or the, I mean, the free platforms where you can do your, your, your posting. I never created a podcast. I didn't know where to start or what to do. So now when I have a conversation with these world changers, I can show them this roadmap and, and they can see how they can go from point, B, point A to point B in nine steps. And it's the promise. They can see it laid out. And not only that, it's, it's got it, it, every step has its own, its own page to it, just like what we showed with Jeremy, if I make this one bigger. So every step has has it laid out uh, that you you do these three things to get started you do these three things to the next one and the next one and the next one and so for me having that roadmap has made all the difference in in how we present and how we sell and i knew right from the beginning who i was supposed to be working with and what i was supposed to do until somebody set me off course and I paid that person $4,000 to do it. Isn't that interesting? So when, when we offer this fast track to profitability, I don't want it to take you six years like it did for me. I want you to work with Steven so he can draw out of you who your ideal client is and what you want to work with. I've been a coach for several years now and the coaching that Steven does with me is amazing. The conversations that we have, I'm like, huh, you're right. I never thought of it that way because you can't see your own picture when you're in the frame. You need somebody else to, to guide you along that process. And if you don't have a business foundation and you try to go straight to sales and marketing, 
and you're not clear on what you're just wasting money. So we don't we don't want you to do that. Why did we name it fast track to profitability? Because in over over the the night the three months working with our consultants and the additional three months working with Raj that those extra nine hours and then working with me coaching you through it as well. We want you to fast track so that you can launch your first version and get your voice heard and get your message out there. And more importantly, start transforming lives. Raj, that's my story. Wow, powerful, very powerful. And I know your story. I know what you have gone through and where you are now. So that's a success story. That's what I call it. See friends, what happens is we learn from failures and it's an important aspect of us because that's how you learn. But successes are important in life. Because just having failures, failures, and failures is not enough. There have to be some successes in life which build you forward. Even small successes, if you have them, celebrate them. And that, that, that is what I would say is going to just layer it on top of it. You go through that ladder of failure, success. That's what has been my life. Have worked through jobs as a CFO for 30 plus years. Had businesses on the side. I have been an entrepreneur all my life. And, uh, and I have worked with so many different industries. But just to tell you why, why I'm talking about mindset, because I believe mindset is one of the most important aspects that most people ignore. And for me, that became important. So I'll just tell you a quick story in brief, actually, uh, which is my main story as to how I came about it. So I came to United States with $20 in my pocket and a dream. And the dream was to be successful. So the first thing I wanted to do as my, uh, both my parents were teachers was to get a good education. And so I got my master's MBA. And once I got my MBA, I was all gung ho that now I'm going to be successful. But what I got was a low paying job in a nonprofit organization at that time, but my dreams were still there. The dreams to be successful, to be rich. At this time we met someone who, was really wealthy. He was in Long Island, New York, and we were so enamored by his half a million dollar mansion, his Mercedes Benz, his Jaguar, his Cadillac. It's so much more than I had ever dreamed. And we thought he came to came in our lives. It was me and my brother at that time that he came into our lives like divine intervention. He said, Raj, invest $10,000 with me and you can be making $100,000 in six or seven months with the businesses that I will show you and be a partner in. Now at that time, friends, I was making less than $30,000. I took all the money on credit cards, gave it to them, which was the first mistake I made because it was what I borrowed. But you know what? The passion was so much that I wanted to do it. And I'm not going to go through the whole story, but we opened up a ladies clothing dress business and what we found within a few months that he had swindled us and that guy was a fraud. He had already filed for bankruptcy before he, he even met us. And by the time we finished up the business, I was over $50,000 in debt. My brother had left his promising job in the corporate world. And I thought all my dreams were going to crash down. At that time, my CPA, my friend told me, Raj, you need to file for bankruptcy. You have no other option. And given from where I came from with my background, I said, that is not an option for me. But what do I do? The mind was saying that there's nothing out there. So at that time I went and I started reading and found books on money and wealth. And I said, let me read. And that's where I figured out where I went wrong. So friends, from there, I kept pouring in myself but doing and changing my mindset at that time, where it told me that, no, you're not going to file for bankruptcy. Yes, you can do it. And there are resources which you can work with, you can do it. And in three years time, I was able to pay off all the debt and be debt free. From that time, I created my whole programs, my courses, and I worked on and went on to become a chief financial officer, working with millions and millions of dollars in federal funds. See if I would have declared bankruptcy, see where I would be. And all that was because of the shift in the mindset. So at that time, I learned more and more about mindset and how it makes a shift in you. And I believe that becomes a foundation for any business we are in. Because when your motivation has dwindled down, 
because once you start a business, you get your certification, you're so motivated. There's a time when it goes down. That is the time your mindset is what takes you to where you need to be. So as a part of this whole big picture, where we are bringing you all the techniques, strategies, with that, I am bringing you a mindset. Most of us have mindset of growth. I'm bringing you a wealth mindset, which you need for your business. Because many of us have what we call wealth wounds, which I had growing up. And so you have, and we will go over as to how to get rid of those wounds, how to set up that right mindset where you can get the success that you need. So in a nutshell, I just wanted to tell a little bit about myself. Uh, and, and I believe, I think uh, we have shared a good chunk of stuff that we are doing, but we just hit the tip of the iceberg with what we are going to give you, friends. So Donna, take over. T yeah. Tell a little bit more before we wrap up. Thanks, Raj. Uh, what we're looking to do, what I'm looking to do, me personally, is just have a conversation with you. If any of what we talked about today resonated with you, I, I had co comments from our, our previous videos that, oh my gosh, Donna was like in my head. It totally made sense to me mm -hmm. and it might as well have been me talking. If that sounds like you, no matter where you are in your business, whether you've launched whether you're, you're at the growth stage or scaling, I just want to have a conversation with you. I have a nine-step audit. If you remember with Steven's roadmap, when he showed the blue one, we have nine steps in the program. I just want to do an audit in your business and maybe uncover uh, a few things that you can do right away that is a gap in your business right now. Because you don't know what you don't know. <laughs> and so let's have that conversation. Uh, just, just book a strategy call. And at the end of the strategy call, if, if we both decide that it's a good fit for you, then maybe you want to move ahead into the fast track to profitability course, right? But, but this isn't a sales call. This is a strategy call to audit your business in these nine areas, three of them in marketing and branding that Stephen goes over, three of them in operations back office processes that Bill will cover, and three of them in pricing strategies and the finance piece that Jeremy's gonna cover. I'm not the consultant in these, but I know enough working with our gentlemen here, our, mm -hmm. our, our experts, that, that we can, I, can give you, I can give you some places to start and we can identify where the gaps are. So if that sounds like something that's good for you, if you're ready to enter into the experiment, as Bill says, if you're, you're ready to make that impact in the world that you know you can, let's just have that call. Just, just book this 30 minutes. Just book a call. Donna, please talk about the killer offer. That we oh, please. Killer and offer. When is yeah. that? <laughs> Thanks. Because um, that's only one time. It is. It is. <laughs> we, we're, we're having 15 business owners in our cohort group, two seats have already been spoken for. That means there's 13 left. And if you're one of those 13, that's a good fit. You're in at 50% off. This is a $6,000 program. And even that is low because you're getting three consultants and two coaches through a six month process. And you're not just getting information, you're getting deliverables that you can use for marketing your business like we have shown you these roadmaps and these cheat sheets and even more webinar sequences and in email copy, you know, that you can just tweak and edit to send out your emails and, and sales scripts and video <laughs> scripts. It's, it's incredible how much we're going to give you from this program. So it's a $6,000 program that for Raj's group, Millionaire Path, because we believe in coaches, we, we know that when you have a strong business, you're going to multiply that in the world. You have a multiplier effect, right? Every business is important, but I think coaching and consulting really has that multiplier effect potential. So $3,000, $1,000 a month for three months, we're, we're willing to do that. $3,000. If you are the 16th person, we will still, if you're a good fit, accept you into the group but we'll accept you at the $6,000 offer and you'll be on the waiting list for the second round of this incubator. This is our first time running through it. You've heard our consultants, you've heard their background, you know that they're good at what they do. You know that they can help you in your business. Why, why would you wait? If you decide to wait and you're 16, 17, 18 on the list, 
and it's still a good fit, yes, we'll accept you, but it, I'm sorry, it's $6,000. The first run through the exchange, I said, nothing's for free. The exchange that we're giving in, in exchange for the reduced rate is your business's fast track to profitability is the marketing that goes along with it is this clarity, the strategy that goes along with it. And in exchange, we want your happy testimonial because it's just blown your business out of the water that you've just skyrocketed to the next level and maybe even two or three levels of success. We want that testimonial so that when we offer this at other iterations, it will help make the decision for those other business owners that might be on the fence. I know that it's a good thing, but they're kind of afraid. And, and you know, if you're one of those that says, well, my business isn't quite where it needs to be, what's gonna change? How are you gonna get your business to where it needs to be if we don't have a conversation for, for me to reveal to you where your blind spots are? Nothing will change. The same thing, thing, thinking that's getting you your results now is not going to get you different results. But when you work with our team, when you work with our consultants, and at a minimum, when you book a call with me, we'll start getting you on a new path of thinking so you get different results. And if you saw my post in Facebook, uh, Bill put together, you know, 43 years in the consulting world, <laughs> he put together a, a, an audio course and an ebook on how to select your practice, how to set up a consulting firm. It also works for coaches. So that's a bonus just for scheduling an audit with me, just for scheduling a call with me. We're going to give you an ebook. We're going to give you uh, two different iterations of what Bill did on how to build a coaching firm in the audio format. So about 26 hours or something of <laughs> listening. If yeah. you, you know, you can, you can check and don't have to listen to them all if you don't want to, but there's also behind the scenes videos, 12 hours of videos of, of Bill sharing what he knows on how to build a business in addition to this. So that's just for booking. I don't know, Raj, how, how is that? <laughs> did I cover it all? Yes, you did. And thank you for that. And friends, I want to tell you one thing. See, I uh, get a lot of offers on a very regular basis where people want me to team up with them and bring things to our groups that I have. Uh, but I am very, very selective. I have been working with IBGR now for a couple of years at least. Uh, have been a part of the radio show at one juncture and, and still my show is going on uh, on IBGR. And main thing is I know everyone really, really well. And once this whole program was put together, and once we spoke together about it, I said, I, this is a program I want because it is only limited to 15 people. So that is why I said, let's bring it to our Millionaire Path group. And exclusively, I said, one of the things is that we need to give an offer which nobody else can ever have. And that is what we are bringing to you. And I believe in it. That's the only way and the only reason I teamed up. And, and one thing, if you have any questions in your mind, any doubts in your mind that you want to clarify, message me, direct message me and, and talk to me. And I will clarify that for you. Uh, uh, so friends, I, I believe that what we are bringing to you as a team, and again, because it's a small group, this team will be giving you personal attention. That is the best part because we are not here to look for a group of 100 people, which many times people have and then give whatever. It is going to be customized, customized. It has helped my business a lot. It has built each and every person I have worked with before on these aspects a lot. So all I'll tell you is keep an open mind. All you need to do is set a call with Donna. And, it's, and as I said, it's not a sales call. The, and it will be an eye opener for you. So I think at this juncture, if there's anything anyone wants to add, otherwise I believe we have uh, actually <laughs> brought in a lot of golden nuggets, which will help you irrespective whether you join or not, that that's not the case and point. We wanted to bring something for you of value to you. That's what my intent is since I started this group to bring value to you. And that's what I believe I am. 
I just like to say, Raj, the first step of growth is always the hardest. Yeah. Just, just book that call and let's have a conversation. Well, Thanks for listening. Wonderful. Thank you. Thank you, friends. Thank you for joining live. And if you were not able to join live, I hope you are watching this on a recording. And I hope you consider and take a look at it because this is only here to help you and at a minimal cost. Think about it. Think about this thing where you are right now. If you do not take the next step, where would you be one year from now, three years from now? Would you be at the same place thinking of the same thing? I hope not. So I'm signing off now with my friends. It was just a pleasure, pleasure to have Bill, Stephen, Jeremy, and Yutana. Thank you for coming. Thank you for sharing. And I really appreciate it. Take care, guys. Bye now.